in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we headed for the weekend. Hey Barry, everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Got another dry sun filled week coming your way, Night City. Come in. I lost someone close to me too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? It's about Andrew. He, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I... A few months later, Andrew passed and... Everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do.
So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... Uh, I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. That kid. Even Andrew. He's gone and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone, wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. Bye.
she's watching you from behind, and she loves you very much. Preston says that his dad died, and he can still see him and talk to him. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime.
are freshly developed new tastes. to get his shit together. Who cry out loud, Mendez? Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry's in great shape. So much so, in fact, that prefer to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite way. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was... a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, but he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Just talk. Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t shirt. Green with this funny yellow cat. Get in.
Are you wrong in the head or what? <laughs> A dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. Raish who? What do you mean, Raish who? Bartmoss, for shit's sake. Gonk who fucking trashed the first net? Data crash? Rabbits? No pings? Jesus, what am I doing here? Who are you, even? I'd recognize that mug anywhere. 
wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Nah, I need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Well, well, an SGI Tech Elisla. Best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife goes by Nix. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it.
Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turing's tapes. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out? Found it under my Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. But serious like. Serious like. It's just not your biz. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step. Yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A data crash-like thing, or uh, rabbits? Because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am, but speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? You know what? We should let it lie. I get you, but should you change your mind, I'd be waiting right here. thought about it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Put the deck on the counter. Just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail. You fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Ma should have done that. Okay, what do you got here? Uh, 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 got uh, a brain uh, broiler. You absolutely shit, sure it, you want to check it. in? Ideas, V, fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done, stick. Gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say... 
You reached Bob Maul's deck? Lonely you? Damn straight. I am the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But maybe someday. All right. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Shame, kinda. Well, I guess I could delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or, uh, you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man. <laughs>